So uh, let me know if the settings are weird or something. Oh, what? <laughs> that sucks. Hello. Welcome to welcome to reality. Be prepared to be blown away for some high level gameplay. Uh, thank you for for joining me on this lovely Wednesday afternoon evening. And it's Malay, the most overrated sieve in all of uh, King of the Desert. Now this sieve had a really lousy win rate uh, in King of the Desert. And it really seems to be that people overvalued the advancing to the eight next age faster. Because... People were getting so hyped about getting to the next stage with two more villagers that they forgot that you don't even have as many resources as you could have. And then the Malay late game is kind of bleh if they have anything at all to deal with Karambits. Uh, let's see. Uh, against the Britons. Britons are one of those sieves that have anything at all to deal with Karambits. I feel so sluggish. And this map seems pretty bad. Pretty bad. 400 karambits. That's all you need in life. 400 karambits in a dream. I, I will most likely be making them at some point. The problem is, they're still pretty bad against archers. And Britons obviously have good archers. <laughs> So we'll see how this works out. I mean, that's kind of what you're supposed to do. Uh, you can't use the melee bonus to go up faster in most situations because you simply won't have the resources to do anything. So what's most often the correct play is to simply go up on 24 villagers and kind of use that as a small eco bonus. So yeah, I'm gonna go up on 24, do some men-at-arms stuff, go into archers, you know, the game plan. I've got the back gold and the back stone, isn't which is nice, but my wood is super far forward, which is pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, you could do a crazy all-in trush, but... Eh, that's not really worth it most of the time. And this forward hill is really gross, along with one of my stones being forward as well. You really just gotta treat the, uh, the Malay bonus as you get to go to the feudal age with a couple more villagers. Oh, that was a fail. Whatever. Still... Just exploring my side of the map, seeing if there's any good wall-up spots. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go scout to see what he's up to. He's already in my base. I could go to lure some deer, but 
I'd rather not risk it in case he does something crazy. But yes, with the melee, 100%, the correct number of villagers to go up on is 24. And you will still get to the feudal age faster than your opponent. Um, and with less resources in your bank. So it's kind of uh, an upside-downside sort of thing. Oh, feeding. So bad. It's okay. We are A-OK. -okay. This is why we use hotkeys for ends. <laughs> Harbor Rush. Channel my inner viper. By being good at this game. <laughs> See, my build's even slightly messed up because I'm just not used to getting to the feudal age so damn fast. Nonetheless, I still am going to be able to go across the map with Militia, so it's not like anything's a total disaster. Do you want gold for him, which means he's probably got Militia hanging around somewhere. Yep. Ooh, he's even got a, a, a woo 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 after him. Warm loose pack. Reppin. Need to get the uh, the MRA upgrade though. I can get a good engage on this hill, that'd be nice. Yep. Okay, that is the MNN arm upgrade, which we do not want to engage with. Just Trying to find the... Oh crap, that was my bad. That was a little bit of Miss Micro as well. First game of the day, weak. Let's not randomly lose that villager. Oh shit, I completely thought he was targeting the men at arm there. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We we do not have terrible gameplay here at Ornlu AoE. There would never, ever be a single throw. See? This is, this is micro! Sick micro! World's sickest micro. As we get housed and don't make villagers or do anything useful. Again, you, you know... <laughs> if you came here for the high-level gameplay, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, you, you made some, some wrong choices somewhere along the line. <laughs> However, uh, I don't think I'm in the worst position ever, because I'm still a villager up on him, because I'm Malay. So that's that's some nice silver lining. Eh, 
And you know, I'm in a fairly reasonable position. The one thing I definitely have to be careful for are the British faster producing archery rangers. See if we can snipe this little dude here. Yeah, you can see how he already has the uh, unit advantage on me. And now we're going to switch into full skirm mode. So we traded one... Oh, shit, we didn't even get that one archer. We're so bad. I say we as if you guys have any fault in the matter. Okay, so we got Fletching here. Um, those are reinforcements. That's rip. Yeah, I think the Britons are a much stronger civ than the Malay here. I do have this hill though, and I do have Fletching on him, so let's just press this advantage while I can. Because there's no reason not to. The dulcet tones, exactly. My sweet, soothing, monotone voice. And I'll definitely be doing, doing some casting later today too, I just thought I'd warm up with a 1v1 or two. Uh, we, getting wheelbarrow is a very uh, not set in stone thing, even for pro players. Also, look at this move command. No idea who's gonna win this fight. Looks like it's gonna be him. But what we can do is pick off as many archers as we can along the way, since there's no way we're escaping this. Oh, maybe this guy can. But yeah, definitely focus everything into skirmisher production right now. The problem herein lies that our map is awful, and he just has much faster producing archery ranges. And I guess we, we have the defender's advantage, which makes up for it a bit, but I think I'll just have to play defensively until I can click up to Castle Age. Try and squeeze out as few skirmishers as I dare. Just try to wall up my exposed flank. <laughs> so yeah, the goal here is just to play as defensively as possible with this really bad map. And get to the castle age fairly quickly. Because as you can see, he has a larger army by a fairly reasonable amount. And I still have plus one defense over him and this nice hill. I'm being a little bit greedy and uh, not going for more skirmishers and going for archers, which one, train faster, and two, don't cost wood. But uh, obviously they, they're weak against the skirmishers. And yeah, these wood lines are not what you'd call good. I guess I should have gone back here, but too late for that now. But now we will be the Malay and zoom straight up to the castle age. No, not a care in the world. And we're really just going to need to push with that advantage. 
Aku, aku bangun, mengerti. Aku pembangun gedung. Iya. Yeah. Aku mapan. I should have seen this coming up from this angle. Aku mapan. Aku mapan. But like, see how he's just such a larger mass of archers than me and skirms. It might even be worth investing in a stable. But, uh, classic doubt micro. Okay, now is where we gotta push our advantage. Or at least our tech advantage. And there really isn't one to begin with. Because the Civ is really overrated, so we're gonna go for a siege workshop and pray. <laughs> Like, this map is really bad. Uh, I do have the hill for this fight. But yeah, definitely just gonna go one TC here, as much aggression as I reasonably can. Just keep going forward, apply directly to the forehead. That's a manganel already for him. That's pretty bad. Maju, aku Maju, angkat sanjata. angkat sanjata. Well, that was a that was a mango shot. Yep, yep. This is already pretty much over. I I need to get an insanely good mangonel shot here or lose the game. Maju. Like, with my map this bad, and this being such a bad Civ matchup, because I, I can't reasonably go Knights. Unless I get Manganel shots like that. And if I can get a 1 for O here. I got that. We're not done yet. It could be worse, I think. Like that. And I do have a redemption on my monks, I believe, as Malay. If someone in the chat would be so kind as to confirm that. And he is taking wood here. Maybe maybe it's with a TC, maybe not. Doesn't look like it. So that's nice. Okay. Got him. As we do our very best not to let our macro fall completely apart. <laughs> Aku pengerti. 
Ya, aku baginda. Maru, aku maruat. Ya, baginda. The problem is he's somewhat walled here, but I can send dudes around every which way. Okay, we don't want to just leave our mangonels doing nothing. Okay, there's his, there's his other mangonel. So we're going to go up this hill and force him to engage there. Okay, here he's trying to build a town center. Definitely, definitely want to deny that. This is, you know, requiring a lot of multitasking. So, uh, you know, totally isn't going to be mattering that I haven't played in a while. Maju. Uh, nope, nope. Manganel! Okay, well, at least got the one for one there, and I'm killing some dudes of his here. I'm gonna throw down another TC myself, like here. Still killing villagers here. Um, if I had the gold income, I'd definitely be getting more monk upgrades, but I don't, because my economy's pretty minuscule. Yeah, get some conversions off, why the hell not? Uh, not sure how that was a kill, but okay. I'm just gonna freaking go over here. Okay, that was a, that was a mango shot. You know, it, I'd never recommend as a game plan to rely on the other opponent having terrible micro, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. No, I thought these guys were hot. Oh, what the hell? Oh god, what were they thinking? That's all on them. I take zero responsibility for those mangonels' strange actions. Okay, redemption's almost done. That'll be a nice one to have. Definitely need to back up to this hill. Honestly, I think it's worthwhile just to go uh, battle elephants here. 
Or maybe, maybe a fast game. Okay, that's not good. I need my Manganel, like, way sooner. I mean, this is all just sloppy play overall for me. I don't deserve to win this game even if I do. Yeah. The... Um, I can pray for a fast fish imp here. That that could be a, a dream. Ellie's a riot. So you can say that stuff to Viper because he's, like, good at the game and, like, can win doing crazy stuff. I have no such luxury. Maybe I can get a lucky convo. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Who needs skill when you have luck? Just nab this relic, because, you know, I can. My elephant hotkey is for no reason at all different than my other hotkeys. Perhaps it's a bit ambitious, but I'd like to get a castle up on that hill eventually. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah, let's get the thumb, thumb ring, you know, finally. Honestly, I should have some more ranges too. I actually may win this. Well, that's a one for one. Castle on the hill will be nice. So yeah, he is investing heavily into Skeeter Mashiers. Just grab uh, block printing and uh, illumination. He can't one-shot me with this. Never mind, he can. He's just gonna delete it anyway. Because <laughs> all of my villagers are idle. Where's my third gold? Oh god. This is some uh, 2k plus gameplay you're uh, all witnessing. And now his, uh, his dudes have such good range. No! Elephants! Don't convert to Christianity! Stay to your true elephant Buddhist roots. Oh, let's convert him back. It's like a Persian mirror.
High level gameplay here. Am I right, boys? Okay, let's get a mug and grab this relic that's all the way over here. I am giving him some time to stabilize here, but I kind of need it to fix my terrible economy. And it's not like he's in a particularly amazing position. Uh, run away, monk! I believe in you, little monk! Never mind. You were a failure from the start. So the idea here is to do skirmishers and karambits. The thing is, his comp is pretty much just ARBs, and that dies to just straight up skirmisher, so I'm just gonna make straight up skirmisher. Ah, here's a gold. I did it, boys! I found a gold! Um, I think I have- nope, don't have a market. Oh, I do have a monk. Grab another relic. Relics do win games in the long game. Pretty frequently. Let's see if I can send in some karambits to do some harassment. Yeah, I've got some stone too, which is pretty nice. I just have no gold. Oh, gotta get Cardo. Cardo wins games. Okay, there is the first Trebuse. Um, need some local villagers to repair that castle. Some uh, battle lilies to tank. Can't even spam click these guys fast enough. Maybe I'll be able to overwhelm him here. Still need more villagers. Oh, here's a gold? Again, high level gameplay. Oh yeah, you bet I have Cardo. I mean, the thing is, I have map control on him, which is really nice to have. I don't even have relics in that one. 
Like, like he may technically be getting good trades here, but I still think I'm winning out in the long run because he doesn't have access to any resources and his army's a lot more expensive than mine. I just need to keep up the skirmisher production and I like adding in the few elephants. Winning this treb fight's gonna be pretty crucial. Part of me just wants to like make like a full blown switch into elephants. Yeah, exactly, Pant. I do think I need to regroup just a little bit. Bleeding a little too many units for my taste. Oh, that was unfortunate. Okay. We're just gonna do some, you know, farming right by his base, because, you know, why not? Um, okay, so here are some pikemen that he's making, which means I will not be switching into elephants, and I'll just be sticking with this infantry thang. Okay, nice. See how this goes. And just making sure I keep up my production. And there's the GG! That's how we do it! You don't need chemistry, you don't need to be good at the game. Your first game in like a week.